As you can tell from the fact that I'm here and not there, and the fact that I'm speaking at a pace more akin to the way I usually speak as opposed to... I wonder if I'm actually feeling alright enough to do this. So, uh, I think I'm gonna speak a bit less. You can tell things are a bit better. And they are. My last CT scan showed that the swelling in my brain has pretty much gone down, the bleeding has dissipated, and while there might still be some areas of the brain that are healing, by and large, inside my skull, the worst is behind me. It's still gonna take some time to fully heal up, but at least I can feel that inside my skull things are definitely getting better. The whiplash from the fall, that I've only started working on two days ago. That was my first physio session, I went to another one today. Hopefully that'll sort itself out sooner rather than later. The dizziness... The dizziness is, is probably the worst for me. The dizziness is not really predictable. and It's based on some of the movement I do. Very short, intense, spinning, mental spinning. It's, it's, you know when you drink so much? That point where you're about to throw up or you're about to pass out that just that that final point of drinking before things go that's what happens basically the whole everything spinning in front of your eyes levels of dizziness and especially when it's unpredictable as it is it's it's a bit rough so again, we don't know how long that's going to take. It's not as bad as before, obviously, in the hospital, I couldn't even walk properly. So it has been calming down, but at a much slower pace than everything else. It's, it's really frustrating to want to be normal and not being able to just be normal. But doubly so because I'm not responsible for this. It would be different if it was a fucking... Uh, mosh pit where I was the one who's like yeah boom and got my head knocked into the ground because of my stupidity and stuff because it'd be like yeah I got brain damage but I got brain damage watching Timu Borgi alive so it was worth it <laughs> but yeah I'm on the men sadly uh, however, there is another side to all of this, and that is the financial impact of this impact on the side of my head. And that is uh, quite simply that the cat and I can't afford this. My in-laws, the cat's parents, they've sent some. My, my, my old man's going to send some, some money, and that's going to help a lot. So having talked to the cat about this, and really discussing our options, looking at what we could do. I've decided that I'm going to uh, start a, a campaign online to try and raise some funding to just help me through this. It's 600,000 yen that the campaign is, is set to ask for and what that is basically, 300,000 is medical. Uh, of that 300,000 we've already put out over 230, 40 odd thousand. I don't have the exact number in my head, but the cats worked it out. I chose 300,000 yen, thinking that that'll cover what we've paid so far and gives us a little bit over and above to take care of any future complications that might arise medically from this. Um, and then the other 300,000 is basically to pad the two months I've been down. And in addition to all the medical stuff, life doesn't stop. I've got tax payments, I've got car tax payments, I've got pension, mandatory pension payments, I've got uh, medical insurance payments. And I think you're paying medical insurance, why are your medical bills so high? And the simple fact is, if I wasn't paying for medical insurance, I'd probably be asking for like a million yen right now. So the Japanese medical insurance national medical insurance has definitely kept the costs much lower than they should have been thank you to everyone else in japan who pays into medical insurance because you guys are picking up my slack and the household bills electricity 
So yeah, that's basically 150,000 yen a month for two months. As I have discovered firsthand, life can be quite the bitch and you never know <laughs> what's gonna happen to you. No matter how well you plan for fucking anything. No matter how hard you work towards your goals and how well that work is going for you. The Spanish Inquisition. Nobody expects it, right? Nobody expects the Spanish Inquisition! While I must admit I do feel a bit ashamed to do this, I don't, I just, I don't feel right begging for money. It's just, the sad fact is that it's asking you guys to help or it's to dig myself into even deeper debt in order to uh, take care of this massive curveball that smacked into my life. I know many of you guys probably want to help out and can't absolutely understand and it's cool. But those of you who can, I would I'd appreciate it. It would really help me out. Thanks again, all of you guys who have supported me up till now. I know many of you guys have, have sent me messages, given me support. It's been really rough. It, This has really been the hardest thing for me to deal with in my life thus far. And there's still a lot to deal with, but it's going to get better from here. And your support means a lot to me, so thank you. And... Uh, for those of you guys who can help out, yeah, thank you again. Fucking A. The whole thing, even when I leave the hospital, in all likelihood, the healing of my injury will probably only have just started or might not have even started yet it'll only start when I get home because the doctor said it's going to take a long ass time for this to probably heal up